Doc, get the scissors busy. Get the yeah. bandages off. Took weeks of work to give you a new face, Joe. A few more moments won't matter now. Now that the job's done. Well, they matter to me. I want to see myself. I want to get outside and see people again. Four weeks. Nobody to look at. Nobody to talk to. Nothing to read. Just sitting here waiting for this minute. That's uh, the last of the bandages, Joe. Just this one across your eyes. There. Uh. Where's the mirror, Doc? Where's the mirror? Oh, here, I'll get it. Uh, no, wait. Wait a minute, Doc. Never mind the mirror. I don't want to look at my face. Not just yet. Scared, Joe? A little. Doc, how do I look? Did you do a good job? The best. You, you should have been a doctor, Doc. That's what you should have been. Too bad the medical school I was thrown out of didn't agree with those sentiments, Joe. No, I am rather proud of that face of yours, though. Nobody'd ever know it was you. Uh, uh, that's what I wanted. Uh, I got $50,000 I lifted from my firm's safe. And the police will be looking for Joe Harvey. Only there ain't no Joe Harvey. Not anymore, huh, Doc? That's right. Want to look at yourself now, Joe? No. Not for a little bit. I want to talk a little. You know, Doc, I scared you when I crashed in here a month ago, didn't I? I scared you into working on my face. Mm, yes. Matter of fact, you did. Uh, well, I'm going to give you five grand for what you did for me. The police never had my fingerprints. They'll never know me now. They won't, will they, Doc? No. They'll never know I'm Joe Harvey, huh? I'll give you the mirror so you can see for yourself. But I'll promise you this. Nobody in the world will ever be able to recognize you. Give it to me. Give it to me quick, Doc, now. All right. There. Yeah. Yeah, take a look. Yeah. Doc... Doc, is this me? Me, Joe Harvey? Oh, I ain't very good looking now, Doc, am I? <laughs> but I am very rich. And I'm free, clear, and loaded. Thanks, Doc. Nobody's ever going to be able to prove anything on me from now on. And now to the latest adventure of Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. Okay, Doc, you can leave me here. I'll grab a cab. Yeah, sure you're all right, Joe? Sure. After I got over the shock of seeing my new face. Thanks for taking me downstairs, Doc. And thanks a million for what you did to my kisser. It's all right, Joe. We're square. Cab! Hey, cab! Thanks again, Doc. So long. You won't be seeing me. No, I don't believe I will. Where to, Johnny? Grand Central. What are you staring at? Huh? Nothing, nothing. Hey, what's been going on in town for the past month, driver? I've been kind of out of touch with things. Nothing much happening. Police are still looking for that Donald Tate guy for a cop killer, but that's all that's exciting. You think they'll get him? Can't miss. They always get a cop killer, you know. I just picked his been in the papers every day. They'll get him. I hope they do. So you missed it? Hey, what'd you stop here for? Traffic light. Well, the light's green. Is it? Oh, that's right. Hey, here comes the traffic cop. Come on, get started. I'm trying to have Well, now, what's going on here? Get that bus out of here. You're holding up press. Officer, officer, look at the back. I'm right here. And who should it be now? The president? It's Donald Tate. Okay, Tate, don't you even blink or I'll shoot you here on the spot. Hey, you think I'm Donald Tate? Sure he's Tate, officer. I recognize him the minute he got in my cab. That's why I stole his hat. Of course he's Tate. I couldn't miss knowing him. I've been studying his picture every day for a month. This will mean a promotion for me, sure. But I'm not Donald Tate, officer. I'm Joe Hart. Uh, who? I'm not Donald Tate. I don't care who I look like. I'm not Tate. Keep talking, killer, only I won't be listening. You're Tate, all right. Drive down to police headquarters, kid. We got a real prize package to deliver. <laughs> So, this guy, Tate, we got locked up. Does nothing but scream for Boston Blackie, eh, Rollins? That's right, Inspector Faraday. So, let him scream. It'll do him good. Now, what about Blackie? He's on his way down, Inspector. You gonna let him see Tate when he gets here? Why not? That guy's still yelling he isn't Donald Tate. Well, he's calmed down now. Hey, we never did have Tate's fingerprints, did we, Inspector? What difference does that make? We got his picture, didn't we? A dozen witnesses saw him knife that cop. A couple of them knew Tate personally. I don't need another thing. Oh, yes, you do, Inspector. You need me. Yeah, sure. Like, I, I need a hole in the head, Blackie. Anything in your head would be an improvement. Hello, Rollins. Hello. <laughs> Glad you're here, Blackie. 
What did you say, Rounds? I said, <clears throat> what are you doing here, Blackie? That's better. Blackie, you know, we've got Donald Tate, and he's screaming he wants to see you. Well, I'm here, but is that all he's screaming about? No. In between times, he's yelling that he isn't Donald Tate, and that you can prove it. I don't see how. I never met Tate, and I don't know what he looks like, except from seeing his pictures in the paper. Quite a publicity job you did on him Friday. Got him picked up, didn't it? Come on, Blackie, if you want to see him, I'll take you over there myself. Don't bother. I can find my way to jail, even though you have tried to escort me there several times in the past, Inspector. You got five minutes with him, Blackie. Yell if you want anything. Right. Well, Tate, what's this all about? Oh, Blackie, I made them get you here. You're the only one that can prove I'm not Tate. Don't count on this. You're Tate, as far as I'm concerned. I've never seen you before, and I've never seen Tate before. You sure look an awful lot like these pictures, though. I don't care what I look like. I'm Joe Harvey. You remember Joe Harvey. Half of it is right. I remember Joe Harvey. Only you're not Joe. But I am Blackie. I know I don't look like him. I can explain that. But first, I gotta convince you I'm Joe. Now, look. The last time you saw me was about six weeks ago, right? It was on a Saturday morning. Well? It was in a barbershop, Blackie. You got a trim and a shine. I was getting a shave and working on a scratch sheet, figuring out Monday's races. That's right, ain't it, Blackie? So far. All right, listen. I ain't through yet. We got in a cab together. I dropped you at Mary Wesley's apartment. No, no, wait, wait. First, you stopped to pick up some food. What color suit was I wearing? Now, let's see. Blue, brown. I don't know, Blackie. Good. Harvey wouldn't remember that. But somebody who was trying to prove he was Harvey would have all the details, including the one about my suit. Oh, you believe me, Blackie? Not yet, I don't. What happened to your face? I'll tell you. I grabbed 50,000 bucks from my firm. I went up to Doc Weaver's to have my face changed so nobody'd know me. And the rat crossed me. He gave me a cop killer's face, Donald Tate's. A likely story. Why would he do that? Why? He figured I was going to bump him after he operated on me. He wanted to make sure I'd be picked up. He knew any cop in the city would grab me on sight. I get it. You coaxed him into operating on you, huh? Ah, maybe I did get a little tough, but I paid him, Blackie. I paid him five grand right after the operation. Your timing was bad, kid. I was too late. If you're telling the truth. Of course I'm telling the truth, Blackie. Listen. I'll confess to that larceny rap if they'll believe I'm Joe Harvey, but it's the chair if they keep believing I'm Tate. Oh, sorry, but there's nothing I can do. But, Blackie, it means the real Tate goes free. Does that sound right to you? What do you want me to do? I talked to reporters this morning. My story will be in the papers any hour now. I want you to go see Doc Weaver. He'll tell you the truth. He's got no right to be sore at me now. Then you can tell the cops who I am. Did you mention Weaver's name to the reporters? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, that was smart. I better get to Weaver's fast. If the real Tate sees that story, he's going to kill your alibi, kid. And very simply, too. Merely by killing Doc Weaver. <laughs> I'd be ashamed to admit it if I were you. Do you know that you've kept me waiting half an hour? Well, it couldn't be helped, honey. I'll explain when I get there. Where have I heard that before, and how is it you never do? All right, where are you, Blackie? I'm in the apartment of a character named Doc Weaver, and you've got some work to do. What's the connection between your being there and my having work to do? When I see you, I'll explain that, too. What you mean is you won't explain that either. However, what do you want? Well, Doc Weaver had a visitor before I arrived here, a visitor who I think was a killer named Donald Tate. I want you to get bandages and iodine and whatever else you'll need to treat a badly shot-up guy and meet me at Shorty's place. Shorty's? Why there? Because I don't want Faraday walking in on me while I'm working out a plan. And he'd be sure to look for me at your apartment or mine. Now, get that stuff for me, Mary, please, and rush it. I'll... I know. Well... You'll explain why when I see you. Okay, Blackie, I'll do it so long. Say that again and say it slow, Miss Howe. And say it before we get to Donald Tate's cell. Okay, from the beginning. Well, it's just what I told you, Inspector Faraday. I'm Joe Harvey's girl. I've been out of town for a month, and I read in the papers this afternoon about this man you're holding who claims to be Joe. I can tell. I don't care what his face looks like. I can tell if it's Joe or not. That's what I thought. Only it's ridiculous. The guy is Donald Tate. Hey. How are you going to tell whether this guy is your boyfriend? You going to take his word for it? Well, hardly. Only Joe's got a birthmark on his arm. If I see that first, maybe I'll listen from then on. Well, we'll listen together. Daddy, Daddy, baby, you're here, you're here. 
Faraday, she'll tell you I'm not Tate. She'll tell you I'm Joe Harvey. Well, Miss Hell, never mind. Wait till we get in the cell. Well, Miss Hell? I don't know. It's not Joe's face. Uh, which arm, Miss Howe? Which arm's got the birthmark? Birthmark? The right one, Inspector. Roll up his right sleeve. Uh, what just are you doing? Well, what's the matter? Well, see anything? Because I don't. What are you looking for? For the birthmark. If you were Joe, you'd have a birthmark on your right arm. Only you haven't any birthmark. So you're not Joe. That's what I thought. This guy's Donald Tate. Dottie. Dottie, baby, I'm Joe. You know I'm Joe. Do I? Let's go, Inspector. This isn't Joe Harvey. I don't know who he is. All I know is who he isn't. Yeah, Faraday. Say it nice and sweet now, Inspector, and maybe I'll have some news for you. Blackie, where are you? What do you want? And who cares? You care, sweetheart, don't you? No. All I know is you came back from seeing that Donald Tate guy and insisted he was Joe Harvey. Only that was two hours ago. He is Harvey, and I can prove it. Well, before you go making a complete jerk of yourself, let me tell you this. Joe Harvey's girl was here an hour ago. She talked to the guy we got in jail, and she swears it isn't Harvey at all. And believe me, she ought to know. She certainly should. But maybe she had a reason for not telling the truth. Listen, Faraday, I've got a guy who operated on Joe Harvey's face and made him look like Donald Tate. Huh? Shot up pretty bad. Blanky, bring that guy down here right away. Oh, no, pal. He's staying where he is, and I'm staying with him. You see, only two people actually know that Joe Harvey isn't Donald Tate. One of those two people is Doc Weaver, and the other is the real Tate. I'm going to keep the Doc with me and see what happens. I'll tell you what'll happen. You're in the market for trouble, Blanky. Plenty of it. That's what you're going to get out of this. I doubt it. I think I'm going to get something much more tangible, Faraday. You see, the real Joe Harvey has 50,000 stashed away somewhere, and the real Donald Tate would pay a lot of dough if I deliver Doc Weaver to him. I'm going to hang around and wait for the best offer. And now, back to Boston Blackie. While the police are searching for Donald Tate, the cop killer, they pick up Joe Harvey, whose face has been made over by Doc Weaver so that he's Tate's double. Boston Blackie knows that Inspector Faraday does not have the real Tate in jail, and after a visit to Doc Weaver's, calls Faraday, refuses to disclose his whereabouts, but insists that Faraday is holding Harvey and not Tate. As we return to our story, Faraday and Rollins decide to visit Blackie's apartment. He doesn't answer the bell, Inspector. Maybe he isn't home. Rollins, you're getting to be a genius. Did it ever occur to you that Blackie might be home and not open the door if he knew it was me outside? Come on, we'll break it down. Hey, Inspector, isn't breaking down a door against the law? Well, we'll say it got in our way. There's a law against obstructing justice, isn't there? Come on, help me. Okay, here goes. Don't look like there's anybody here, Inspector. No, it doesn't. Check the other rooms. Yes, sir. Blackie's not at Miss Wesley's. Apparently, he isn't home. He's not at Doc Weaver's. All we found there was bloodstains. Blackie told you he kidnapped Weaver, didn't he? He didn't say that exactly. Just said he had him. I'm going to fix that guy once and for all. Weaver? Blackie. I'm going to call the papers and tell them the whole story. That Blackie's got Doc Weaver and that he's hiding out somewhere. And that I want him for withholding a vital witness. Well, what good would that do, Inspector? It'll show everybody that Blackie isn't such a big hero. And maybe it'll bring him around. So he'll cooperate with us a little bit. Will that be all, Miss Wesley? Uh, yes, I believe so. Four boxes of bandages, two rolls of adhesive tape, iodine, sulfadiazine, sulfathiazol. Yes, that's all. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You bought the same stuff yesterday. You doing hospital work again, Miss Wesley? Not exactly, but that's pretty close. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Wesley. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, I'm afraid you will. I wouldn't be in a oh. hurry to go nowhere, miss. Uh, no? No, just get in that car. Don't do no screaming. Don't do no nothing. No, anything. 
Don't get cute, Miss Wesley. I got a bottle of acid in my hand. Your face won't look so pretty as some of it should kind of spill out. Um, what do you want with me? I've been waiting for you to show up here. Get in that car, park the curb. I, uh, uh... Go on, go on, get in. Put that package down the seat and start driving. I'll tell you where. I... Go on, get in. All right. Only, what are you going to do to me? Nothing if you behave yourself. Start it up and go straight up the street. Not too fast either, sister. I don't know why I should. The acid, sister. Remember the acid. Oh, now I know. I'm Donald Tate's sister, and I'm wanted. Not by me. By the cops. Only they think they got Donald Tate locked up. I want him to go on thinking that. Well, that's all right with me. I'll call Inspector Faraday and tell him. As soon as we get away from this traffic, you ain't going to talk so cute. Turn right at this corner. Uh, yes, sir. Now, look, Miss Wesley... One man knows the guy in jail isn't me, and that's Doc Weaver. I tried to get the doc, but maybe I'd bungle the job. And the papers say your boyfriend, Blackie, has him stashed away. He's hurt bad. And that's why you bought them bandages and junk. What about it? This about it. I fixed Joe Harvey's girl so she wouldn't say the guy in jail was Joe. I'm clean if I can take care of the phony doc. Well, I'm really not him, you know. Stop the car, kid. There's nobody around this neighborhood at this hour. Stop the I... car. Now, start listening. I want to know where Blackie's got the dock. Now, talk. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Ow! Oh, my, my, my arm. Please, stop that. This ain't nothing I... to what I'm going to do. Oh. Tell me the, that address. Tell it to me fast. I won't. I, I, I won't. You're practically begging for this please. acid. Okay, it suits me. One more chance before I spill this over your kissy. Where's Blackie and Doc Weaver? Don't throw that acid at me, please. And don't. start talking. All right. All right, I... Blackie... At his friend Shorty's hideout on Water Street. He's there along with Doc Weaver, and, and, and he's waiting for me. Now, please, please let go of my arm and let me out of the car. I've, I've, I've told you all I know. Yeah. Oh. You're about Boston Blackie's girl. He's just as yellow as any other dame in town. Go on, get out, scram. I got all I want out of you. You know what was in this bottle? Water, sister. Just plain, ordinary water. Or did I cross you? Mary? That's right, little Mary. Come on, open the door, Blackie. Hi there. Well, I did it. I did it. He was there just like you thought he'd be. He practically carried me off in his arms, and I broke down and told him this address. So then I waited an hour, and here I am. Well... Where is he in jail? He isn't here, and he's never been here. But... Oh, but, but he has to be. He had to come here. Everything worked out just, just as you planned. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that Tate did grab you at the drugstore, and, and you told him I was here, and he didn't fall for it? Well, well, Blackie, he seemed to. Cute guy. He had to figure this was a trap, or he intends to wait until night to bust in here. Well, you hop home. I'll call you if anything develops. All right. Only, Blackie, if you do catch up with Tate, I want you to know this. He twisted my arm. He did, did he? Now, just for that... I'm going to personally wring his neck. Oh, wait, wait, just a minute, can't you? Just just hold the phone until I get the door open, at least. Oh, everything happens to me, goodness gracious. Just a minute. Hello? That you, Miss Wesley? I've been calling you for two hours. Oh, hello, Inspector Faraday. I've been busy. What did you want? Well, not you. I want Blackie. Where is he and where is he hiding that phony Doc Weaver? Well, gosh, Inspector Faraday, I really don't know. Oh. What's the matter? I crossed my fingers a little too hard. Goodbye, Inspector Faraday, and don't call back, please, ever, at least until tomorrow. Miss Wesley, I... And that is that. Not quite, oh. Mary. Oh, uh, not, not, not you again. Why not? You didn't want me to walk into a trap, did you, kid? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Yeah, I figured that. I figured you gave in too easy in the car, so I came here. I came up the fire escape and got in that way. Now, get on that telephone, sister. Hurry up. Oh, that's a fine way to treat a sister. All right, what do I do now? Pick up the phone. Okay. And call Blackie. Oh, no. Pick it up, kid. I'm not falling. I wouldn't mind killing you if I had to. You don't have to. What do I tell him? Nothing. I'll talk to him. Don't tell him who it is. I want to surprise him. Hello? Blackie, this is Mary. I'll Somebody here it. wants to talk. Blackie, it's Tate. Tate? You're at Miss Wesley's? For a while. And I'm going to meet you and make a swap with you. What kind of a swap? 
Your girl for Doc Weaver. And if you deliver him, I deliver her. Alive. Catch you on? Vaguely. Where will I bring Doc Weaver? Get in your car with a Doc. Park it way out on North Woods Drive. I'll come past. You two are alone in the car. I stop and we switch cars. You get funny, I don't stop, and you don't never see a girl again. I don't have very much choice or a chance to get cute, do I? That's right. You better leave now, Blackie. We ought to both be in there close to the same time. You're a little nearer than me, so uh, don't get too lonesome waiting. Just make sure you'll be there, Tate. I've never been so anxious in my life to see another guy with my girl. You know, sister, this could be your last five minutes of living. You ever think of that? Not till just now. If it's all the same to you, though, I'd rather it weren't. Oh, oh, that that's Blackie's car up there. Yeah, park and wait. Well, I'm going to drive past to see if the doc is in it. There are no cops are in it. Take a good look, kid. It may be your last. Hmm. Well? All right. It's Blackie in the dock and no cops. Okay, you stay in here. And what are you going to do? Get out and head for that car while Blackie walks up to this one. And if any cops do try to stop me once I'm in that car, they'll have to shoot it out with me. And if they do, they might hit the dock. So they won't. Cops are so nice that way. Hey, Blackie. Yeah? Start walking this way slowly, on the other side of the road. I'm coming towards your car, and I've got my gun out, so keep your hands high. Got that? I get it. All right, start walking. Nice weather we're having, Tate. Shut up. Well, it was nice weather, I know, because I read it in the papers. Well, so you're here waiting for me, huh, Doc? Well, I got to take you somewhere and finish a job I started. Move over. Okay, Rollins, the Tommy gun. Thirty double. Come on back here, Blackie. We got him. I'm coming. The state isn't party. It sure is. Roll him over, Rollins. Okay, Inspector. Guess we got him. So the other guy in jail is really Joe Harvey. Well, what do you know? Who's this guy in the car here? Who's he? He was Doc Weaver, Faraday. And he's been dead for quite a while. What's his body doing in your car, then? Good old Faraday. Much mouth, little listen. Try and get this, Inspector. Tate killed Weaver right after he found out that Weaver had fixed up Harvey's face. Only Tate wasn't sure he was dead. So? So, when the story got in the newspapers that I was holding Weaver, Tate figured he'd have to find the Doc and knock him off. I get it now. Well, Blackie, I'm glad you called me and told me about this little trap. We got Joe Harvey on a larceny rap, and Tate's dead. So everybody's happy. I guess that's right. See, I've heard of people getting into trouble because they had a change of heart. But Joe Harvey wound up in jail because he had a change of face. If you want more Boston Blackie, no fret. We're adding it to the lineup. 
every Wednesday night right here on Golden Age Radio.